Good morning. It's about three days before our backpacking trip to the Ozark Trail. Three people are going along. I'm getting organized this morning, and I thought I'd show you the gear we're, that I'm taking. This is a pile of clothes that I'll take with me, and this is what I'm wearing in or putting on the first morning when we start the trip. Um, this green thing in the middle is a wool half-zip base layer. Uh, a couple of different buffs for my neck and to keep my head warm. Hunter orange cap and a hunter buff because we're going to be in an area where we've been told there are hunters and we don't want to get shot. Um, some medium weight nylon pants, long underwear, a pair of socks, sock liners, and a nylon shirt. Then this will be what is in the backpack in no particular order. Uh, a bag to hang the food with, rope to hang food along with the pulley, uh, and rope to use to pitch the green sill tarp. This is my uh, sleeping bag, hasn't been compressed down yet, sleeping pad, pillow and inflating device. Personal objects and smaller objects, uh, maps of the trail, uh, drugs and prescription things to take, and a pill reminder, uh, flashlight, headlamp, extra uh, cards and battery for the camera, a set of binoculars, toothbrush and deodorant. These are clothes that will be packed inside of a waterproof bag, a nylon down pullover with some wool gloves, uh, some crocs to wear around camp and to potentially use to cross uh, deeper streams, a couple of pairs uh, of uh, spare socks, a polypro uh, top, spare thing of underwear. This is my backpack with the 2.5 liter water bladder, uh, rain cover, hiking poles, some hunter orange strips that will hang from the back of our packs again to try to avoid being shot. Um, rain gear, first aid kit, toiletry stuff, a couple of different uh, types of trowels, toilet paper, hand wash stuff, water treatment and water bottles, a couple of two liter hydro pack uh, bags, um, kitchen things, I'm supplying the uh, eating utensils and bowls for all three people, three insulated jugs, um, four different bowls, two titanium, two plastic, a measuring cup, an extra lighter, a couple of stoves, um, this one is a MSR pocket rocket that goes on top of the fuel cans. Um, I'll only be packing one of these fuel canisters, I think, uh, uh, for the reactor quick boil stove, um, eating utensils, things to prepare, another spare lighter, food, or my share of the food, breakfast, lunch, snacks, one entree, and that's it. So good morning. It's Sunday morning about 9.30. Here we are at the Highway A trailhead.
we got here early we're meeting our shuttle at about 10 o'clock a.m. so we're we have about a half an hour to wait this is the trailhead it's Sunday morning fair number of cars here parked at the Highway 8 trailhead eight or nine cars including ours so we're assuming these are mostly weekend people but there may be a few hikers here's all our gear ready to go we're waiting for Mary our shuttle driver Keegan, my husband from Round Lake. We're on our way to drop off at the Barton Fen Trailhead with Mary, our shuttle driver. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> You'll have to send me a copy of that for my... Okay. Uh... So this would be Neal's Creek. Yes. And we're getting close. So we have arrived at the Barton Fen Trailhead. Thanks to the good driving of Mary, our <laughs> shuttle driver. Thank you. You're welcome. So we are starting out from the Barton Fen Trailhead. Joy is sprinting up ahead. Crossing Neal's Creek. Just down from Barton Fen. You did it. I did it. The first. End of our first day, this is the camp at Wolf Pen Hollow. 
Joy and Emily making water. Nice little stream. And this is our campsite. And we have the food hanging ropes with a food bag all ready to go on the pulley system. About to make dinner here at Wolf Pen Hollow. It's the end of our second day. This is Big River near the intersection of the Middle Fork and Trace Creek sections of the Ozark Trail. Uh, that's where the trail crosses Big River. We wanted a campsite that was about an eighth of a mile from here along the trail, but it was occupied. So we backtracked. There's the trail heading into the woods. The Ozark Trail marker. And here is our camp for the night. Probably technically not quite far enough off the trail. But it's kind of bottom land and soft dirt. We found two fire rings here and we're all set up and about to have dinner. Eric's tarp. The tent for the two women. The creek is very close by. Some goodies we found at the campsite and nearby. A fifth of Captain Morgan, which is half full. We don't know how old it is and we're not going to drink it. A pair of semi-rotted panties, a mylar balloon.
Here we are at Peter Cave Hollow. This is our third night, third campsite. Hiked about seven miles again today. This campsite is literally right on the trail. Bear bag is all hung, ready to go. We got here a little over an hour ago and now we're all set up. Emily's tent, fire pit, an old rusted metal box. Joy's tent. Eric's tarp. Sleeping bag and pack underneath all ready to go. We know before we started the trip the forecast for tonight was rain and thunderstorms so we're preparing as if it's going to rain. We're about to have dinner. Sent to Highway A and the car. <laughs> 